I want you to check this out. It's a wonderful book that I thrifted for only $3, and it contains a collection of World War II uniforms. If you like soldiers, you'll probably be glowing with excitement looking through this. But today, I want you to imagine. Imagine if you could have a toy soldier, figure, miniature, whatever you like to call it, of each and every one of these uniforms in any pose with pristine detail. Wouldn't that be a dream? Back in ancient times, well, not too ancient, people used to hand sculpt figures to make toys. Then they started using molds with metal and plastic. In recent times, you could use a digital 3D model and 3D print your own toy soldiers. Hey, I made an old video about that. But that's hard, right? I mean, look at how unskilled I was. Now I could definitely do better, luckily. But who's going to put in the years and effort into learning how to sculpt. Then there came 3D scanning where you could get a 3D model using your camera and some complicated software and equipment, but even that's difficult. The beauty of time is that things change. You and I get older. Toy soldiers go out of fashion. Wars get forgotten. But hey, at least now you can take any image of a soldier and use artificial intelligence to create a 3D model of it, which you can then 3D print. No tricks, no setup, no fancy equipment. What could be better? I'll take an image of this artwork via my phone and then use this online AI service called Tencent Hunyuan 3D, which is also the sponsor of today's video, to make a model. Yes, it's from China. Toy soldiers will always be made in China. You have to log in with an email, but nowadays, you don't even need a password, just an email verification. Then, you're good to go. No complex download, no virus, no payment. I'm telling you, it's so simple. Just have fun uploading images. Click generate, and start. The AI will do its magic. Isn't that something? Here, you can preview the model. Depending if you're going to paint the figure accurately or just keep it green like most toy soldiers, you can use the reference textures or just look at it plain. The AI captures a good amount of detail and automatically fills in the back. It even understands that the underside of helmets are hollow and can predict where legs and arms will be to keep the model more consistent. It's actually mind-blowing. Downloading is easy too, with any 3D model format you need supported. I like sticking to STL. After downloading, you can use 3D printing to make these models into real toy soldiers. Resin 3D printing is the preferable way, and you can use your own resin printers or an online service. This is pretty much the easiest way to make your own custom toy soldiers with a good amount of quality. You're welcome. But I didn't really make this, I mean the AI and this artist did. So how can we make this process more personal, more custom? Tencent Hunyuan 3D is great because you can use any type of photo with any subject, even yourself. I told many of my army men friends to dress up in their cosplays and pose to be turned into their own custom toy soldiers. Now me? I don't really have any military uniforms. But I do have a solution. Here is my Vietnamese friend that we're gonna photograph today. Do a pose. <laughs> so is this is this uh, is this racist? Yes. This is this is accurate. <laughs> Accuracy. Unlike sculpting or 3D modeling, you can control the pose, outfit, and weaponry in real life, which is as user-friendly as it gets. When taking images, make sure to have a plain background with at least decent lighting. And if you want even better quality soldiers, take images from four sides of the pose. What you shouldn't do is have cropped images, images from odd angles, non-centered images, 
heavy camouflage, grass, or hidden limbs. Just take a normal, good looking picture. Please. The AI is very forgiving and identifies the subject pretty well. And all you need is just one image of the subject. If you do have those extra photos though, you can upload them here. Even if you're an old man in your 70s, I assure you can do this. The AI is free to use, but you only have 20 credits a day to produce models, which is plenty. And it's completely free for now. I kind of feel like it's too good to be true and we might have to pay someday. But for now, let's just cherish the moment. Photos are great, but what if you're into fantasy like Dungeons and Dragons or Warhammer 40k? Can't do that unless you're a freaking nerd with a huge cosplay, right? Well, as shown before, drawings work too with this AI. Heck, even AI works with AI. I'll draw my own soldier design inspired by plague doctors and pull out an AI design based on Roman soldiers in the modern era, which I think are both pretty cool. The drawing doesn't even have to be that polished or realistic. I spend 15 minutes on mine. The AI will help you formulate ideas and details that you didn't think of, but it does help to have a better drawing obviously. Now what's the catch? There has to be a catch for using this program, right? Yes, yes there is. AI is finicky and luck based. Sometimes models may not turn out good and sometimes you just have to run it again and pray the model turns out the way you intended. The AI isn't human and it will never be as accurate or intentional as when someone models it themselves. After all, AI doesn't really care about historical accuracy as much as us nerds. And unfortunately, you do need some 3D modeling knowledge to add bases to your figures. <laughs> so sad. But this isn't a bad thing. With more skills, you can improve the figures you make and make them more polished. Here are the fruits of our labor. With a couple friends and a bit of effort, I created several different collections of toy soldiers with various poses. That is insane. It would take companies months to prototype all of these for production and selling, and now you can do it all on your own. The great thing about using AI for toy soldiers specifically is that since they are so small, any odd artifacts from the AI or loss of detail doesn't really matter. And if you find any of these models in this video interesting, feel free to download them in the description below. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but that does bring up the question. Is it ethical to sell my friends? A lot of people don't like AI because it makes things too easy. I just used several images of my friends and made a product that seemed like I put no effort into it. But I didn't include the hours of footage of me fixing up these models, adding in accurate guns, and warping proportions. This is a new tool for 3D artists, and ultimately it's up to you to choose how to use it. While you could steal art and make models out of them for a quick buck, making your own toy soldiers by drawing, posing, dressing up, collaborating, that is just much more worth your time. Tencent Hunyun 3D will be linked in the description below for anyone to use. And as always, be sure to make some more fun.